they needed in a contribution and distribution platform. Uh, and that took on a life of its own and, and is now what we call LiveView Matrix. And so uh, Matrix is a application for uh, like national news desks or large media groups right. uh, to be able to get large amounts of content in, curate that content quickly with filters, right. be able to receive that content at their, their headquarters or distribute that content back out to a larger affiliate network. Uh, it is, in effect, the next generation affiliate network. It is the, the next generation uh, satellite distribution platform. And as you can see in the user interface, we, we've got this, this great flow to it. We've got you know, feeds on the left. We've got uh, your local receivers in the middle if you're the curator. And then on the right-hand side, we've got your, your distribution channels, which for our broadcast customers are very akin to satellite transponders. Um, you know, we've got a, a chat feature as well that's very exciting within the platform so that uh, if you're logged into the platform, it's very easy to, to use and leverage the features there so that you can quickly right. ask I can the see curator. They have it actually up now as we're talking about yeah, the so, so you can see, we, you can very quickly chat back and forth between the curator and all of the affiliates. Um, We've also got audio alerting. Uh, so, you know, very frequently what they've done is use uh, audio channels three and four in the satellite bitstream right. for uh, the, uh, the, what we call affectionately the squawk box. Okay. Um, so, you I know, remember every, those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so every newsroom around the country would have one of these squawk boxes hooked up. You know, speakers turned up to 11, wakes everybody up in the middle right, of the exactly. night. But somebody comes on and says, attention station's coming up right now on distribution channel one. Uh, you know, uh, the president is about to get off Air Force One and is going to make some remarks about the current situation in, you know, uh, California. And uh, everyone in the newsroom would know where that's coming. They would, you know, and, and know that the, they could get that off satellite. Well, we've integrated that directly into our platform as well. Why not? It's a web platform. So instead of having to, to use the, the analog methods of, of insertion and putting it on a different PID on the satellite channel, we just do it all right within the platform. So Now, is this product available right now? So it'll be launching just after NAB. It is, okay. uh, it, it is available. Um, and we're working on it in what we consider to be very small iterative development steps. So we're, we're putting it out there, and then we're collecting another round of feedback from our customers. So is, this, is it safe to say that it's, it's in beta or it's beyond beta? We're beyond beta, yeah. Yeah, now we're we're ready to take this to production. Um, you know, we're this is the first time showcasing it. NAB yesterday was was phenomenal. All of the customers that came by absolutely oh, yeah, love sure. what we've done with it. And so it's I'm really excited uh, because it t tells me that we've gotten it right. And so we'll get it in the hands of the the customers starting next week, and then you know start rolling it out uh, across the country. What's the price point of this? So the pricing in the United States uh, is $400 per affiliate per month. So it's per uh, basically station location. Right, right. Um, and and that's, that's the MSRP um, if, if you're using the Matrix platform. Uh, we're still working on international pricing, and, and uh, the international community functions a little bit differently, Correct. both in terms of sales models and in terms of distribution models. And so we're, we're launching this in the United States, and then we're taking this to other markets and, and tweaking the features uh, in order to match exactly what our customer base needs. It's pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, the thing that's fascinating to me always is that, you know, the LiveView products, that they just work. And, uh, you know, you have that reputation out there. It's pretty it's pretty cool that you do that. Thank I mean, you. Really, yeah, no, really. it's it, it's it's an amazing technology. I mean, you know, the company started ten years ago, uh, and we were using three G modems, and oh, the backpack weighs you know thirty five pounds, and we're now down to units that weigh just over a pound, or units that weigh just about three pounds, and you know that they're incredibly powerful and able to transmit four K video. So, I mean, in in a decade, look how far we've come. And you know, you might not realize you know like sony's a household name panasonic but you know live view is live view is really uh, a household name in, in my business uh and in most of the things that you're seeing in terms of news and spontaneous news uh, they're going to be using a LiveView product, and that, that's something a lot of folks don't, don't realize. Absolutely, yeah. So, and it, it's even becoming a household name for non-broadcasters, sure. too, because, you know, people will ask, you know, oh, the, the, you know, there'll be either questions on Facebook or, or in a broadcast. Somebody will be like, oh, well, how are you broadcasting live right now? And they'll explain the technology live on the air, which is very right. cool. Uh, so, for example, this, this year in the United States was obviously a very devastating year for hurricanes. Um, and earthquakes. And earthquakes. Uh, so, so the, the hurricane um, season in, in Florida and Texas, we at one point had, you know, 45 backpacks up that were in the middle of the, you know, in the eye of the storm as it's coming through. And so a platform like Matrix is really geared for that because you could geofence exactly what you're looking for, show me all of the stations in South Florida. And, and that would 
you know, allow the curator, the, the national desk, to be able to make decisions sure. about, oh, this is great video, I should distribute this. But these are shots that you wouldn't be able to get with satellite. You oh, can't put no a way. dish up in 170 mile an hour wind. Right. You have to, you know, you have to use alternative technologies. Cell phone towers are wind loaded, they're all generator backed up, they use microwave backhauls in many cases for, for you know, secondary and tertiary links. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the bonding technology, because I don't... I'm not sure if a lot of people understand how it works, but, you know, just basically, uh, we've just taken a little solo box, and uh, I have the ability to take the solo box, and it's small, it's light, uh, it's, it will work on a battery if, if, if so desired, and I could put any HDMI camera that I have, my little movie camera, my, my you know, professional gear. You can use, remember that GH7, uh, GH5S that was on yesterday? That works real well with the solo, but they're using cellular technology, bonding technology, which is extraordinary, and I got to tell you, uh, I've been here. This is my eighth year here at NAB, and I've, I can't tell you how many thousands of interviews I've done and hundreds of thousands of products that I've seen. But it has always been, and I use the word "been" in the past tense, a real nightmare to get signal in and out of NAB. And, uh, and the reason for that is, if you were to look around, I don't know if we can get the the, the twirly bird <laughs> camera up on top to go, but. Everybody here is a, is a technology company. Everybody here is putting signal out or receiving signal in. You've got, you've got radar, sonar. I mean, you have yeah, so it's... much RF radio frequencies in this, in this area uh, that it interferes with each other's signal, and it can be brutal. It's, it's so bad that two years ago, um, or maybe two, three years ago now, uh, we had wireless mice and keyboards for our mm -hmm. demo stations here, and we're less than three feet away from the wireless receiver, would not communicate. Yeah, and it drives you crazy because outside of this place, it works flawlessly, and it's just a no-brainer. You just right. It just works. Right. But it's very, 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 very difficult to get signal out of here. It um, is. It, it, you know, however, we, you know, we've been running now four units for the studio, uh, going back to, to Phoenix for the, to the control room to be switched. Um, those units are running between four and six megabits per second uh, across a six modem connection. We're streaming HEVC, so very high quality video at uh, one second of latency, so low latency, high quality, uh, in perfect synchronization. And, um, you know, because of the bonding technology, we're always able to adapt to those changing network conditions. It's extraordinary, really, when you think about it. And it works, and we take that for granted. And, and this is, you know, you're, the proof is in the pudding. You're seeing our show, and it, as I said, and that's all going through the live view equipment. And even but, more amazing, we're pulling all of that back down as well and exactly. displaying it on this giant right. video wall provided by D3 behind us. So, yeah. so, you know, it's, it, well, there's quite a bit uh, moving around here. Very, very interesting. Now, oddly enough, in my brain, you know, I, I, let's talk a little bit about how the bonding technology works. And also, to me, there's a lot of mathematics involved in that there is there is so there, there's several different algorithms that go into our bonding technology and our, our streaming technology so and that's actually a patent in itself yes yeah so so we've we've got pat we hold a number of different patents on uh you know the, the bonding and streaming technologies we've branded our protocol our resili resilient protocol lrt um, LRT is not inclusive of bonding, but it, it is what allows us to do bonding. So it's a, it's a means, not the end. Um, a couple of things that we've built on that technology stack, for example, is the encoder rate limiter is very tightly coupled right. to the actual bandwidth available. And that tight coupling allows us to dynamically adjust to any changing network environment. And that's what makes it extraordinary. Exactly. Because exactly. if one carrier is down or one carrier is up or you're getting more strength out of one, it automatically... We're always moving that around. And, and we're not ever trying to force you know, more signal down the pipe than can actually fit it. You know, so, so the analogy I like to use is it's like threading a needle with a sausage, right? It doesn't work. <laughs> Um, but, you know, we're able to dynamically adjust the size of the bitstream, and as a result, we're able to always deliver video. Now, it might not be the most pristine video in the world, but, you know, you're never yeah, going to get a drop You're delivering out. video when people are delivering nothing. Right, exactly. Exactly. And, and that, that definitely makes a very big difference. And, and the bonding technology is, is there, and it helps, you know, it helps uh, tremendously. Uh, we're very excited to start working with the fifth-generation wireless networks oh, here soon. Imagine, yeah. um, 
And, and 5G, you know, we're, the technology itself is not going to change the fact that we still need bonding. Uh, it's just going to mean that we probably need fewer modems in order to get the bandwidth. It's, it's no longer bonding in the past was a, a bandwidth aggregation tool. Um, and it's tr going from a bandwidth aggregation tool to a reliability mechanism. Right. Um, so it's, it's kind of transitioning sort of where it sits and how it, and how it functions. But, you know, it's, uh, it's very exciting to see what, you know, we're going to be able to push, you know, in, in another five years. Is it going to be 8K HDR? We don't know. So yeah, I don't think we're, we're ready knows. for it. So what's the secret sauce now in the, in the, in the new devices that are out? So, you know, it, it, the, the latest devices that we've got, and we're actually launching uh, two new encoders here um, at NEB. We're launching a 4K P60 um, SDI card that will either oh, okay. handle 112G input or quad 4G. Um, and so that'll be available uh, a little later this year. And we're also launching our rack mount version of the LU600 called oh, the LU610. Sweet. That's nice. And that'll be an HEVC up to 4K encoder as well uh, that can, uh, you know, generally fix location. Uh, but we do have the ability to put that in a, in a vehicle with uh, what we call an extender on the roof. The extender has, you know, six modems in it. And, you know, it would bond those modems together in the, the rack mount chassis inside of the quick response vehicle. Now, with regards to 4K, I mean, on a consumer level, they're saying, you know, ah, no, one's, no one's transmitting in 4K. But, you know, on the other side of the coin where you're dealing with, uh, you know, uh, NBC, ABC, the large broadcasters and news broadcasters, that, that, that's actually occurring right now. Yeah, so, so the Olympics this year were very exactly. heavily streamed in, in 4K. Um, I, I think NHK in Japan even did an 8K trial. Oh, did they? Uh, yeah, you know always, always right? on the bleeding edge um, with those guys, which did is you great. See that? Uh, I, I, I didn't see that? I didn't see the 8K with my own eyes. I only yeah. saw the news about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there's a couple of 8K displays in, in, in the NAB. There's a 16K display down yeah. here. I haven't seen I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I, it's, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible, yeah. um, and and you know the resolution keeps going up, uh, you know, and and you know we're we're very excited to be able to be oh. able to transmit that 4K video uh, at an extremely high quality with our LU600 platform, and and we really see the application in the sports and production type markets more so than the news industry, who's still mostly doing standard def, you know, or not, excuse me, uh, HD 1080 or 720p type news gathering. Uh, I think it'll be a little while before we see 4K news, but, you know, it's it's, know it's really only a matter of time yeah, because I, the camera vendors are, are there. The t yeah, they're the, everywhere here. The television vendors are there. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's really only a matter of time. So we're we're ready for that 4K revolution um, to, to arrive. Now, here's a... a we haven't discussed this. This is not pre-recorded. Pre this is live. So uh, I have a question for you. What, were, what, in your opinion, was one of the most interesting utilizations of uh, any take any live view product this year? Ooh. That's a tough question, too. It is. So um, we recently um, in uh, Africa, I believe, had uh, what they call the Cape Epic. And uh, it's a bike race. And they filmed it from all live view units, including a helicopter that had an extender in the helicopter. No kidding, really. And they were, yeah, so I mean, we, we've got a, we have a video clip of that uh, as <laughs> well. Right. Uh, you know, like a little promo loop. It's pretty cool. Um, that, that's probably the most interesting application I've seen this so far this year, but we're still early. I mean, you know, last right. year really the, the, was the first time that I think I mentioned the hurricane coverage. The hurricane coverage was something, it was a, spe a spectacle to be seen. Um, being an employee of the company, I can, you know, see all of the backpacks that were up and running. And, yeah. and at one point it was like, wow, look at this. This is, this is amazing. Um, it's uh, kind of like the ham radio of, of past years. Cause, it you is. Know, I don't know if anybody remembers the ham radio. Oh, I, I'm a ham operator. Oh, so, I, oh yeah. I didn't know that. I'm finding all <laughs> these things about, it doesn't surprise me, but, uh, you know, when everybody is out, so to speak, the ham radio, what traditionally was, probably still is, the uh, only mechanism of communication, which is why uh, a lot of people had to learn Morse code, and that's a whole other story. But you don't know Morse code, too, do I you? don't. I don't. Okay. I'm not that talented. Okay, good. No, it's, it's, it's not an easy thing. Uh, but, but now I think the live view unit is the... Uh, is the ham radio of today. Yeah, it's, it's, really, you know? it's really revolutionized it. And it's, you know, I mean, it's changed the way that reporters can broadcast uh, fundamentally. You know, you can get into war zones now. You can get into hurricane-ravaged areas. You know, anywhere that you can, you know, take a backpack with a battery and walk 
uh, into, you can now you can now get there, and that's pretty incredible. Um, you know, the, the, on the other side of the fence, I mean, we talk a lot about our units and our, our larger platforms. You know, our smartphone platform has also revolutionized news gathering for, for a lot of customers where, you know, they wouldn't have been allowed to bring even a large camera into right. certain locations or, you know, it, 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 and in certain interview situations where somebody might be uncomfortable by, you know, a very large camera or a large setup. The cameras on smartphones these days, the Galaxy S9, oh, yeah. the iPhone 10, they're so good. They are so good. Yeah, I know. Uh, and, you know, they're better than most of the digital cameras that you can go to the store and buy today in, in some right. cases. It's the only camera that a lot of people have. And, and that allows you to get into places with our LiveView Smart app uh, and our, our solo app, which we're launching um, between now and Streaming Media East, that will allow you to do... I don't know if I saw that app. Have I seen that app? No, it's 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 brand new. Are you uh, hold, so you're another, holding out on me. Another little breaking news story there. Um, but uh, can you believe this? We don't even know that it existed. <laughs> Boy, am I glad I do this show. I find out all this stuff. So so we're actually able to bond together in both our solo streaming app and our smart app uh, really? called LU Smart, the Wi-Fi and the cellular, the LTE coverage. So if you've got a MiFi in your pocket yeah. and the LTE coverage, you now have two available sources to, or two available signal paths to bond uh, right within the app and stream reliably. Chris, to when is this coming out? Uh, Solo app will be launched um, in the next month around the Streaming Media East time frame. Uh, and our smart, uh, LiveView Smart has been available uh, commercially now for four or five years. Uh, but, you know, as the phones keep getting better, we keep adding new features uh, into these smart applications in order to, to really allow our customers to have, you know, the, yeah. the power of LiveView in well, their I'll pocket. I'll definitely be checking that out after I have my break. I'll be right over there, Chris. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the secrets. I've got all yeah, the secrets. Yeah, yeah. I have to pry them out of You know, it's a good thing I interview this guy because I find out really what's going on. So uh, that's pretty awesome. All right, so I'm getting the wind-up figure here, and that means uh, we got to wrap it up. It's always a, a pleasure to uh The to pleasure is mine, Don. Thank you so no, much for coming on you know, and, and hosting the show. You know, It's so great to have you on the well, booth. It's, it's, the pleasure is all mine, really. I appreciate you sitting in this glass aquarium all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank really. You. Great guy. We will be right back after this commercial break.